Hello everyone, welcome to Miss Valley Skyrim. My name is Dread. I will be your Miss Lord for this journey on this series that we're calling Double D Betrayal. So, the backstory. Born in High Rock, Daria Dimpleborn was an, in an orphanage in Daggerfall City by the time she was two years old. She doesn't actually remember her mother, only that she was poor and homeless, a beggar woman, who died of sickness. And so she came to be a ward of the Daggerfall Orphanage. Although her name was Daria, some of the other children teased her and called her Dimpleborn because of the big smile on her face. Daria ended up adopting this as her last name, not knowing the one her birth mother had gone by. As well, Daria often questioned who her father had been, and of what race he had been, as she was remarkably short for a Breton leading her to the conclusion, right or wrong, that her father may have been a Bosmer. Daria met a wealthy man and got married at the age of 15. His name was Farron. He was tall and wide-chested, had a big black beard, and was said to have originated from Cyrodiil. Farron was loud and boisterous, a heavy drinker, but he had money and he seemed to care deeply for her, so Daria married him. But after marriage, things changed rather quickly. On their wedding night, after having consummated their new union, Baron invited a bunch of rowdy sailors into their home, and the true parting then began, lasting several days. During this time, Daria was passed around to be used by a great many of the sailors, and she also came to learn that her husband was a recently retired pirate captain. Things weren't all that good for Daria going forward. But at least she had a nice roof over her head and expensive clothing to wear. When Farian took to drinking too excessively, she would wisely remove herself from his reach, going outside and work on her garden. If she were to stay inside, or if his drinking caught her off guard, then she risked a beating at his hands or even much worse. And so five years passed and five years into their marriage, one day, Farron left town, leaving Daria behind. He was on his way to northern Cyrodiil to see his ailing mother, he said, and settle her affairs before she passed. He expected to be gone for a month, maybe two. After three months of peace, she received a word via a uh, courier that her husband had been murdered. A note from the captain of the guard that had found his body explained that he looked like he had been burned from the inside out like he had been struck by lightning far too many times in a row for it to be a natural occurrence. His skin, when touched, said the note, began to peel and float off in the wind like delicate pieces of dried parchment. In his one hand, he held a piece of paper, and on it was simply a drawing of a black hand. A little research told Daria that he had been killed as part of a Dark Brotherhood contract. Soon after this, the pirates returned to her home. She'd hoped they were merely there to pay their respects, but instead they began partying and trashing the house and telling Daria, after having had their way with her yet again, passing her around like a plaything, that this house was their house now, and that everything that had previously belonged to their old captain now belonged to them. Scared and angry, Daria fled into the night. Over the next few days, she determined to hunt down the Dark Brotherhood member or members who had ordered and carried out his murder and to kill them for what they had done to her and to her life. He wasn't getting revenge for Farron. He was getting revenge for herself. Because the way Daria thought about it, it was one thing for her to decide to flee her old life because she was tired of being beaten and abused. But it was quite another for strangers to tell her, or for strangers to just upend her life and her safety and her sanity without a thought for how she would feel about it. Yeah, managed to catch a ship to Windhelm, which is where she got off here in Skyrim. She was uh, planning on uh, heading down to uh, Whiterun, one of the main cities in it. She figured she'd avoid the capital of solitude. Better to be inland, where there was a Skyrim on all sides of it were instead of just ocean. That's what she thought, and looking for looking for news and clues. She knows the Dark Brotherhood is working here in Skyrim whereas they hadn't been, at least that she knew of in Northern Cyrodiil. So she figured 
if uh, her husband was killed by a Dark Brotherhood contract, it was probably carried out by the Dark Brotherhood of Skyrim. So she needs to get their attention. But she showed up at Windhelm, got off a boat, and within an hour of being in the city, they take taken one look at her ears, which are pointed even for a Breton, which is why she thinks maybe her father is a Bosmer. And they threw her in jail for... She has no idea. She's been here for eight days. At least they fed her bread and some thin gravy, but... She's hoping they let her out. She asked yesterday... Or just grunted at her and walked away. That was better than all the other days when he didn't say anything to her. She has hope that maybe she'll get out of here soon. So this here is Darya Dimpleborn. And she is on a quest to join the Dark Brotherhood. Find out who ordered the contract and who carried it out on her husband. And make sure they meet their maker. Not because her husband was a good man. Not because she had feelings for him, although she did. But because they have upended her life and caused her to lose things that she held dear. Safety. Sanity, a roof over her head, nice clothing, wealth, things she never had in her life. Now been ripped away from her. She's not happy about that. Lo and behold, the next day. They let her out of jail, finally. As they were giving her things, the guard literally kicked her in the ass and kicked her right out the door. She ain't too pleased about that. As per usual, they seem to have given her not only her own things, but somebody else's as well. But uh, she gladly take back her own things. Oh my goodness, that's not her weapon. You that is. The rest of it doesn't have a lot of gold, so she might just consider selling it. Olaf, one eye, green, one e, four twenty, two, four fifty two. Subdued the foul dragon, Newman next. She's working on her reading. Her reading and comprehension skills are pretty good considering she was in an orphanage, but still. Reunited Skyrim after the. War of the Succubus? Oh, Success. Ion su su Succession? Yeah, yeah. And conquered the the something breach. Aras, the uh, I have no idea. People of Skyrim are weird. Oh, okay, something happened, and apparently we uh, we have managed to turn on our um, survival mode. How did I do that? How do I turn it off now? Hmm. Um, yeah, 
I don't know how to turn it off now. Um, that's a great question. Settings? Gameplay? Um, survival mode. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we should be good now. Right? They are somewhat dirty. Well, yeah, we've been eight days in, in jail. Eight or nine days, whatever we'll have. She was hoping that was a window she could look, herself, look at herself in. Then it's true, what everyone is saying. That Aventus Aretino is doing the Black Sacrament, trying what? to summon the Dark Brotherhood. What? Oh, Grimbar, always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine, then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. Right here? No, child, wait! That boy, that house. They are cursed. Ha! Huh, then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right. I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Oratino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. She's very controlling. But she gave me the information I need. Thank you, little man. Well, I do believe we have an opportunity. Uh, so probably um, this on one, put flames on two, crackle on three. Um, terrible conjure familiar. We're gonna put a bound hunting knife on four. Healing is going to go on seven, and healing hands on eight. Where is this? Oh, it's right here. It's right here. Locked. Got a few lock picks. Oh, oh my, my, uh, my carrots. They, uh, yeah, kept me company on the voyage to Skyrim. I should probably get rid of those, and uh, I don't, I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to be eating those. You know, um. Girl's got to have friends on a long voyage, right? We'll just uh, we'll, we'll leave those there. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully, no one will find them and eat them. Hurry up! I don't want to go back to jail. Please, how long must I do this? I keep praying, Night Mother. Why won't you answer me? Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in bloody fear. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in bloody fear. Oh, wow, that'll go down nice when the... Uh... The nightmares Please, come on. How long must I do this? I keep praying, Night Mother. Why won't you answer me? Sweet mother, sweet mother. Send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Grow you old crone! You'll get what you deserve. The Dark Brotherhood will see to that. 
Grow all you old crone. You'll get what you deserve. The Dark Brotherhood will see to that. Sweet mother, sweet mother, send your child unto me. For the sins of young Morgan you must be baptized in blood and fear. Die, Grilla, die! Please. How long must I do this? I keep praying, Night Mother. Why won't you answer me? Please, how long must I do this? I keep praying, Night Mother. Why won't you answer me? Finally! My prayers have been answered! Uh, are you okay, kid? It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things. Yeah, I and saw that. And then you came, an assassin from the Dark Brotherhood. Um, of course, the, uh, the Black Sacrament, right. It took so long, so very long. But now that you're here, you can accept my contract. Sure you wouldn't like a hug first, boy. Contract? My mother, she, she died. I... I'm all alone now. Is so it? they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften. Honor Hall! The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the kind. But she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us! So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Grella the kind! Oh boy. Please hurry. To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. Please don't kill Constance the show. She really is kind. Tell me about your mother. What happened? She got sick last winter when the snows came. And she just, she never got better. Not all year. One night, she fell asleep and never woke up. So now I'm all alone. And the Jarl said I have to go into Honor Hall Orphanage. It's not fair! Are you sure about this boy uh, murdering this woman? I've never been more sure about anything in my entire life. Someone like Broa doesn't deserve to live one more day. She's a monster. You know, assassinations don't come cheap, boy. I have a family heirloom you can have. It's supposed to be sort of valuable. Uh, I hope that's all right. Please hurry. To be honest, I'm kind of lonely here. As much as I hated getting sent to Honor Hall, I really miss my friends there. Yeah, definitely gonna make a great thumbnail. Oh yeah. All right, boy, um, I'll leave you here with your bones. Try to, uh, Whoa! You know some magic. Master Aventus Aretino, Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak, wishes to express his deepest um, death of your mother uh, or uh, your oh, boy, fatherless, you no know, known. Uh, Relations, Jarl cannot uh, allow you to remain in your home on supper something. Uh, no more than a week's time for to report to Honor Hall Orphanage in Rifton. Okay, I've heard of Rifton. That's south, I believe, where you will. Razidi, uh, until your 16th birthday. The Aretino family home in the city of Windhelm will, of course, remain your property. The building will be uh, secure, locked, uh, ready for your return in six years. Note that I am unsure. Uh, education recently uh, 
deceased mother, if you possess, um, read the letter I am currently composing. Therefore, a member of the city guard will call in a week at your home, provide escort to the orphanage by armed guard. Oh my goodness. Uh, his arrival will not come as a complete shock. Uh, your leaf, uh, steward to Jarl Ulfric Starwell. Oh, it sounds like he did not have a good time. Here, the kid's gonna be taller than I am. Why do everybody's taller than I? One of the problems. One of the issues I have. Oh, hey, some good carrots. Excellent. I could use these later. All right. Getting a bit late. You know, there is a market over this way. I passed through it right before uh, I got arrested. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your steam, you and you refuse to help the storm cloaks. If you've got some time, stop Why, by my house of curiosity. Hey, oh, I could use that. Thank you. Effort looking to protect yourself or deal I'm looking to damage. sell some things, actually. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. Any, uh, nope, cards there. Um, I don't haggle. If you want a lower price, look. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Not much, but I'll take it. Kind of what I'm looking for. Um, I don't know how I'd fill one of those, so no use taking that. Preston, take that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your custom. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping we still have enough to be able to take a cart. To, well, maybe we should have. Maybe we should walk to Ripton. Maybe the way to go about it. Other grapes. How hard can that be? We'll do that. We'll gather some grapes. That can't be that difficult. But, still, still don't know where the Dark Brotherhood is, even though this is a good start. I think. I don't think we need to find our way to Whiterun. Let's stop and think about this. All these rivers. You can follow that river that way. Maybe you can. Or we go around this way. This might be the way to go. Go east, and then when we get over here, we'll head down. That looks like the quickest way to get there. 
then I want to go west. If I go east, I'm definitely not going to get there very quickly. That is for sure. Got a tent for camping. Got some firewood. Do a little bit of foraging. Probably be okay. Find a place outside of this nice city that threw me in jail for no reason. Pretty sure they want me out of this town? I'll gladly leave. <laughs> Direction I want to go. We have water down here. Perhaps if we find a place down here, we can set up a tent. you up there. No. I mean, we don't have a pickaxe. Iron here. Here we might be in somebody's way. Maybe, uh, maybe right here. Might work. Uh, a little bit of clear the rocks out here. We should be able to set up something here. Go do a little uh, some branches, yeah. Uh, chop a little bit of dead wood. Yeah, there are a few more branches where you find them. Is it? Have a few uh, survival instincts along her way. She's known over the last five years of marriage that at some point she's gonna have to leave her husband. Just uh, that point never came until he had already died. 
She learned all she could for all no, the things she would need when she left. Ourselves by the fire here. All right. And we'll go for 10 hours of sleep. Why are still going? A little bit here. Go down here. What we got down here? Have it. It's a fishing camp. Take the salmon there, don't mind. Get ourselves clean because this is part of the mod list. As I say, every different series. This is part of my mod list. This is my own personally curated mod list, Scrim, a midweight RPG mod list. And it is uh, all about roleplay. SKR in Scrim is capitalized for super cool roleplay. And uh, dirt and blood is part of it, and you gotta get cleaned up, or if you get too dirty, then uh, you debuffs your speech and stuff and selling so it's just part of the game me eh? all right I, think I saw some plant or something over here today oh flower what we got for ingredients I get familiar with some of these things. Yeah. Some of those things are early a mark. You may have noticed we were not able to level up by sleeping in our tent. Oftentimes it does not work that way. Most of the time it does not work that way. You can actually sleep in uh, something that's not part of a, a mod like that. In order to level up, so that's fine. Uh, 
That water is much colder than the river water was, I'm sure. Beautiful bridge. Yeah? Bodyguard for who? Where's the person you're guarding? Oh, down there. Well, we've got some animals down here. Oh, boy. Um, based on this... I want to be careful. Hunting knife? So Daria Dimpleborn's journey has begun. Infiltrate the Dark Brotherhood. Get out of my kill. Yeah? Huh? Yeah? Many people in Tamriel. She's had a particularly hard life. She's proud of herself for surviving. Speak. And what might you take a look? What do we got for sale? She's trying to run right past me. The nerve. Vendor does not have much in the way of gold. Yes, that's uh, that's it. Also, want to buy something from them. Yeah. Safe travel. Yeah. Yes. All right then. Sheep man over here. Maik wishes you well. Hello, oh, Maik. My name is Daria Dimpleborn. How are you? Maik does not understand what is so impressive about shouting. Maik can shout whenever he wants. Maik saw a mud crab the other day. Horrible creatures. Sounds terrible. Maik loves the people of Skyrim. Many interesting things they say to each other. Maik is tired now. Go bother somebody else. 
Uh, all right. Oh, uh, oh, very odd. village or farming hamlet up here. We could, uh, we could use chopping some more wood to have an axe, I guess. Yeah. Well, just take some of this. Okay, that'll work too. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. Excellent. Okay, then. Or anything? No, it looks like someone's farmhouse. Lots of axes just lying around, eh? Common house. No. Like a little inn here that I never knew about? Interesting. Strangers are always trouble. Can't take any of this stuff. Stop looking at me. I'm going to take this. I need it. Let me have it. Will I wait you? Come on. Beds, I can't take anything. What is the point of this place? I work at the mill, chop trees, carry logs, sell lumber, you know. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna leave. Never been in that place before. That's uh, that's weird. Uh, she's been around a lot of pirates. She uh, she knows some things about where stashes are hidden, that kind of thing. This one was way too easy to detect. Great thumbnail. Damn. There's man's fire. Am 
Mud crabs are certainly hideous. We need to continue uh, around the water. I guess that's the water here. Unfortunately, we have to go through the night, probably, unless we want to set up camp here. I think it's a good idea, maybe we should. Bye. Right here. Yeah, with mine? Put it on this rock? Can I put a pulse the fire? Nice. Hear this man's fire? The fire that never goes out. He didn't even hear me while he was sleeping, putting up a tent right beside his, right? So. I probably have a couple of carrots. Steam mud crab. Off we go. Heard of the dangers of this place, but so far all I see is the beauty. Oh, the beauty. I go up to that cart, get the holding. An idea. What can I do for you? Yeah, yes. not, not a merchant. Well, let's help him. The wolves over there across the water. What's that? A strange thing. Was that a chest over there? Did someone hide something away over here? Nothing. Face full of weeds there. Oh, oh. Yeah, I wish I was taller. Sometimes they have things growing on them or things hidden in them. He knows a few things. He ain't dumb.
starting to second guess herself. Maybe she should have gone to the Riften right away. I mean, yeah, it does seem like that boy had been trying to do. Punk. Why are we even going to a wedding at this far? Trying to talk to them for a long time. They hadn't been. Yes. I told you, it's the wedding of Vittoria Vici, an extremely well connected. Don't bother me, peasant. I've had a long journey and paid too much coin on these gifts to be late to Vittoria's wedding. Okay. Hopefully these gifts will put us in her good graces. Secure that well, clearly your attitude won't. I think you're old. That sounds wonderful. Play run. I think I was going to have to cut cross country to find White Run, but maybe there's actually roads that'll take me there. That'd be wonderful. That over there. Oh. We got wolves. Or a wolf, anyways. Saw over that way. As well, might as well do it while my uh, magical bowed hunting knife is uh, is good. But yeah, as you can see, she's wearing heels too. Like, she's not tall. And she definitely has more more of a Bosmer type features to her. Yet she's clearly a Breton. His mother was a Breton. Very peculiar. And these things happen in Skyrim. Skyrim in Tamriel. But, uh, hey. Who's up there? Oh, it's getting towards evening already. Oh, boy. There's a spot over here where we can, uh, That's a bit of a camp. dead, but still. Probably not the best place to set up a camp. I think I want to be exploring caves with bodies. Right this moment. going that way. It's 
that there. Hope we can get a place to campfire over here. Okay. Blows up the road there. Let's hope we get this fire going. Maybe it'll keep them at bay. to me? No. or something going by. Anything to read or go over? Oh, we do have a uh, uh, I don't know what this means. This is an absurd book, but like all things Kajidi, as the expression goes, whatever that means, or absurdity has become I don't know what that means. Much of what I have to say has probably never been written before has no one has read it curious feel that everything must be written down for posting but every is she kitten born and elsewhere that was history drinks it with his mother's milk oh that's not very not very interesting not at all Not at all. something down here that I want to take a look at. Here it says to what it was. Oh, 
with a couple of different things. This is I can't have it for some reason. Then we got whatever this is. Again, could have used a uh, pickaxe here. One flying. Hey, okay, I got no idea. What went on here? So we'll just leave that alone. Come on. Early in the morning. Make our way to White Run and see what else we can hear. we can discover. Got a mountain lake here? Or this is an inn. Then yeah, somebody's private manor. Very wealthy. Probably an inn though. More paths going up into the mountains. Well, at least I can stop in and get warm, ask if I'm on the right 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 way to Come get the white run. Just stoked the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Need something? What now? Heard any rumors lately? Oh, okay. It would seem so. There's information about captured women. What are you talking about? It's all in this note. Uh, that note, right? I don't know. What can I do for you? Rumors lately? 
Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowind. Sight to see. Okay. I can help with? It would seem so. All right, then. <clears throat> Something I can get for you? No, I think I'm, think I'm good. Something I, I can get for you? I'll warm up a bit. Still early morning. I don't want to be uh, inside too long because we got stuff to do. Same time. We've been, we've been hiking, we've been sleeping outside. Ah, hello there, traveler. Let me tell you about this the, this old place? Huh. Been here forever. Built by my great granda. Run by him, then all the way up the line to me. Get a lot of business? Nah, not so much. The odd traveler on the road. But mostly just old full time. Come to drink away a lifetime of bad memories, I'd wager. Of course, there's the orc. Long-term tenant, that one. For what he pays, I could afford to shut this place down. I uh, believe me, I understand. I've been, uh, I've been known to drink away some bad memories myself. Yeah, for sale. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. Take one of those, and I'm going to take so there you go. Um, rent a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. This better be good. You're an orc. That explains the voice. Mm -hmm. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Yeah, I could use a door on, the, on my room. That would be nice. Got one here. Door. All right. Well, I guess that's uh, how they make sure nobody messes with me during the night. I I guess. Yeah. So I'm not used to sleeping out in the road. So get a nice long sleep. And then some leveling up, which is basically why we stopped here. I'll pick up a couple of levels, I would expect. I are running around at level one everywhere. <laughs> and grab some of that. I'm going to grab some stamina. You're going to grab some destruction magic. And no stink. Almost a level four. Uh, be nice if she had some clothes to sleep in too, instead of in this situation. And in a tent, she's not gonna uh, be sleeping around her underwear, so you know. Yes. Not Just wouldn't be smart.
Okay, to the road we go. Oh, goodness. Yeah, we definitely need to go stop. Find our way through here again. Get a pickaxe. At least not one not. I know these things were attacking me, but still, we, we killed them. They have things that someone can use. Let's take that. Apologies if the uh, episode's going long, I'm not really sure. Didn't really pay attention to when I started it. Notice that's an ice wolf and it's much stronger. Yeah, didn't uh, didn't see that before that. territory. to be focused on them. And there's a bear and another spider.
No pickaxe. This lady over here. Gajit lady? Need Logan? something? Like, I would guess we all need something, don't we? Okay, where are we? This way. When we get to the river, we need to go to our right. Is that a fox? That's a fox now. Time to get out of here. Oh, man. Yeah, well, let's we'll try to avoid that. Well, I see more wolves. Looking guards we must be in a different area. Definitely looking homesteady and farms is great. According to what we've heard, this should be White Run Hole. Fools fighting a dragon. A uh, giant, I should say. Craziness. Craziness.
this guy doing? Yes. had a coffin and a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like no. to see her laugh her what way out. What are talking about? <laughs> Jester. Well, sounds like you've had quite think a journey. Think you can go blade to blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. I got to thinking maybe yeah, that's very violent. Wow. You sound like my mom. Figured I was lying dead in a field somewhere. Is that it? All right. doors big doors and we're in white run we'll pay whatever it takes but we must have more swords for the imperial soldiers i just can't fill an order that size on my own why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Jorlin Grace for help? Huh. I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's storm. Besides, Greymane would never steal for the Have it your way. Take the jobs, but don't take the miracle. we can make nothing super interesting now make one of these though and they're worth a little bit so that helps Up a little bit. Okay. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Yep. Oh yeah. I don't have any way of healing that either. Of course, I don't have any ore. Do you? Do you feel all right? No, actually, I don't. Thanks for asking. Not bad. Reminds me when I first started sniffing. We need leather, leather. Need three more leather. Uh, go in here and see if we can sell anything. Let me know if you see anything you like. Welcome to war. Take a look. You, uh, you have any leather? Again, does not leave us much. Good doing business with you. Yep.
Yeah, a little bit of upgrade to that. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Yeah, heard that. One of those damn wolves. Got 82. Let's uh, let's go see what we can sell this for. Come on in. Just stoked the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. If it's work you need. How about chopping up some wood for the fires? Rumors lately? I assume you saw the Gildergreen? Big tree all burnt up in the middle of the wind district? Hmm? It's part of the Temple of Kinaret. I didn't, but sure. People want Tanika to do something about it. But I'm new here. I don't, I don't know, know where the wind expect. district is. Uh, I got firewood to sell. Honest gold for honest work. Yeah, any, uh, yeah. Be careful out there. Hey, let's, um, I need to go get a cure disease potion. Foolish old woman. You know nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing? And what of my son, hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? So don't you talk look... to me about suffering. Oh, thank you. Your Divines chose bless your kind heart. Chose poorly, and now he's gone. Good day. Such is the way of war. Got a right. stock of potions and alchemy reagents. How do you feel? I think you might be sick. Take a look. Your disease. Both of them. Come back any feeling better now. I'm if you need a remedy. Well, let's uh, let's go through our stuff. Several of use the lab as you clean up a little wheat. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Ah, so you're an alchemist, then? No, 35. Farewell. But keep trying new things. Alchemy rewards inquisitive minds. If I could sell a few of these, you'll back find work. tonics. Pardon me. Ah, so you're an alchemist then? Um. That one. Nah. Good day. Right, you know what? I think that's going to be it. I think that is going to be it. For this year episode. 
I think that's where we're going to call it. I don't know how long it was. I'm like, again, I do apologize it was too long, but did want to get to Whiterun as the first episode, so here we are. Here she's going to spend her time between now and uh, episode two asking around town and trying to find out what she can about the Dark Brotherhood. And uh, yeah, we might uh, we might do some more wood chopping. Probably we'll do some more wood chopping and selling so we have a little bit more cash. She's going to probably look to try to buy or make something that she can uh, use for sleeping in. And um, yeah. I think that's the gist of it, is what's going to happen. And we'll see you here for episode two from Miss Valley Skyrim. My name is Dread. Thank you all so much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>